What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and welcome back to another unboxing video. This is gonna be a very short video. I actually, surprisingly, have kind of sort of almost caught up with a lot of my boxes. Um, I've just been trying to knock them out, so that's fun, exciting, a little bit sad, but we're just gonna go with it. Anyways, in this video, we're gonna be unboxing this box, yes! I got this box from my P.O. box this past weekend. It is a Funko box. I'm assuming it is a Funko pop-up shop item, and if I had to guess what I thought this was, I think I could because of the size of the box, but I'm not gonna give any spoilers because I'm assuming based off the title of this video, it's an episode of What's in the Box! Let's keep it mysterious. For those of you who don't know, the Funko Pop-Up Shop is a site that Funko has, in addition to their regular Funko shop site, they have a Funko Pop-Up Shop. Uh, usually what it is is that, or how it has been in the past, is every Wednesday at 7.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, they release some kind of exclusive item. Um, the past couple weeks, today's Wednesday actually, the past couple weeks have been kind of interesting. Last week they didn't release until like 9.38 a.m. and they released a glow-in-the-dark um, Bigfoot and I did not get that because I had no idea that they even released an item. This morning at 7.30 they did not release anything and then at like 7.45 they released um, an SNL 3-pack which I actually did end up getting only because I really liked it was like there was like this guy and the skeletons and there was something about the skeletons. Like I kept staring at it and I was like, you don't need that, you don't want that. And I was like, I do really want those skeletons for some reason. So I did pick up the item. I don't really know what's crackalacking with their pop-up shop, so I don't want to tell you that at 7.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, every Wednesday they're gonna release an item because that's not what they've been doing. They have been trying to fight off bots, so I don't know, we'll see how it goes. But you can Google search Funko pop-up shop and you'll get the direct link to that site. Anyways, let's go ahead and open up this box and try to guess what's inside. Can you guys guess what's inside? What's inside? Let's uh, let's go. Everyone guess. Everyone, you don't have to guess in the comments if you don't want to, but you can mentally guess. What do you think this is? What do you think it is? What do you think it is? The suspense. Dun, dun, dun. I didn't even look at that. I still think I already know what it is, but I didn't cheat. All right, once you cut the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're gonna see. There you have it, guys. I bought bubble wrap. JK, JK. Oh, I do appreciate, though, how well Funko really takes care of their packages. Along with the bubble wrap, if you unwrap this, the pop actually came in another box to help protect it. Oh, did you see what it was? I forgot they always tell you on the box what it is. Okay, so this is what we got. I'm sure by now you guys have figured out what this is, but let's go ahead and crack, crack this bad boy open and see what this looks like. We're gonna do it very carefully so we don't accidentally cut into the pop. Okay, so in this box we have dun da 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 Oh, you guys, I'm so excited. They're like, oh no, come on, Funko. You, you put so much effort into packaging this really well, yet whoever actually put the, the pops in the box, they, they, ugh, ugh, uh, they, they like didn't put the flap in correctly, so it just got smushed. How disappointing is that? Funko, what are you doing? Oh man, you literally went through all of that trouble. That's so sad. Like they jam this in here so freaking hard. You can't even fix it because the box is taped. It like pushed in the, the side of the box. Ugh, anyways, we got our Snap, Crackle, and Pop three pack. This is an ad icons. I was really excited I was able to get this because when they kind of were showing all the different ad icons, this is one. I grew up eating Rice Krispie cereal. I really enjoy Rice Krispie treat cereal, not the one that they just recently re-came out with in the purple box. That one wasn't good. I don't know if in my childhood that was the same thing. It just in my childhood it seemed better, but the new one that they released wasn't good. Anyways, Snap, Crackle Pop, they are ad icons from Rice Krispies. There you go. They're pretty iconic, actually. They were always in the commercial. 
you know, when you can hear it, you put you pour your milk and you can hear the the crispy snap crackling and popping. I'm really disappointed though by how Funko packages. It's really sad because it it this didn't get damaged in the mail. This didn't get damaged with the shipping. This came in damaged. Like this started off damaged because when they put the box together, it just they didn't. Somebody was rushing. I don't know if that's humans that pack these things. I'm not really quite sure, to be honest. I can't imagine that humans are packing these. Are they? I mean, I guess it would make sense, but that's a lot of humans that you would need because they make a lot of pops. Anyways, we have our Snap Crackle Pop 3-pack. This thing was a little bit expensive. I want to say it was like $45, to be honest. They don't ever tell you the pricing on these packing slips. I want to say it was $45. It was it was pricey because, because it's a three pack. Um, usually what they do is they price each pop $15. In general, when they release pops, they're $15 on the site, right? And so if you get a two pack, it's usually 30. A three pack is 45. And when they did the dino four pack, although those were individually packaged, that was $60. So that's, at least they're consistent with their pricing. That's nice. All right, so we were able to get Snap Crackle Pop. I'm definitely gonna need to build my other bookshelf because um, down here is my overflow right now of pops that don't fit on the shelf. So we're gonna have to figure that out. Anyways, I'm very excited we got this. Disappointed by this little nick in the corner. It's not a nick, it's the, the mispackaging, mishandling of the packaging in the corner. Um, it makes me so sad because legitimately they go through so much to make sure that these things get shipped correctly, properly, and potentially without damage. But you know, when they start off damaged, there's nothing you can really do about it. What are you gonna do? Anyways, yeah, that was a really short and sweet video. That is all I have for you in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you wanna see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. And you should subscribe and click the little bell button. Um, let me know in the comment section below, did anyone get their hands on this? These sold out fairly quickly. Um, sometimes with the three packs, they don't sell it as quickly because of the price point. They are quite expensive, but who got this? Who got this? Let me know if you got this in the comment section below. And let me know if you guys saw the pop that was released today, the SNL pop. What do you guys think about that? You think it was cool? You're like, no, hard pass, easy pass. Let me know all of your comments down below. And before we go, we must do the video shout out. Today's video shout out is gonna go to Unicorn Thug. Unicorn Thug, you get the video shout out. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, supporting my channel. I appreciate all of your support and I really, really do love your YouTube name, handle name, whatever it's called. Um, it is pretty legit. You asked and you shall receive. Unicorn Thug, you're getting the video shout out. Shout out to you, Unicorn Thug! Shout out to you! All right, guys, I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you guys next time. Bye!